It's a blue. It's a potato. What do you get? Blood. <coughs> What's good, Bloods? I'm back. I've had quite a burnout from game development these past few months. In these few months, a lot has changed. Oh. So is my college course, by the way, because now I'm doing digital media type shit. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But it don't hit the same without my college boys. I gotta see you again, guys, I'm sorry. But anyway. I thought to get back into game development I should join the brand new Polymars Times Scorespace Game Jam. For those who don't know what a game jam is, it's where a game developer makes a game within a set time limit, like three days or a month I guess, I don't know. And then Bloods vote for which project should win. Now that seems fun. This is a digital game jam however, they do local ones around my area and now that I qualify under the age to join them. You better oil up game jams. <laughs> also, this is not my first game jam, I've done many game jams beforehand and they're ones that don't deserve to see the light of day, so... Yeah, I set up the first person character controller, but um, the animation went just a little bit weird. Yeah, 13 year old me was not him. But this is a nice little side quest to get back into game development. Without further ado, let's begin- Oh, what the- what could that be? What in the is this? Is that a Microsoft Surface Go 3 with a 10th Gen i3 processor? And 8 gigabytes of RAM? Come to daddy! Yeah, you know so looking at it right now, we've got plenty of time before the game jam starts. So uh, I'm just looking at the rules, yeah? You know, general rules and shit. We must have a small timer and a leaderboard. Small timer, I can do, but a leaderboard? Man, what the f- Say if I win, it kind of practically says maybe I'll make it out the hood. You know what I'm saying? The top 20 games will be played live by Polymars. Top 3 will be featured in a YouTube video. My goal is to maybe get in the 20s. That would be kind of dope. If I don't, it's whatever. If I do, it'd be kind of cool. The leaderboard would be at least of our worries. We just need to know the theme of the game jam. Then we should be good. The theme is overheat. Damn, bro. Overheat. I've kind of got some ideas to that name, but still. Still, that's crazy. What comes to my mind when I think of overheat is being cooked. Like if you're being cooked in a pan or something. At least someone right now is asking, why does that come to you first? That's just how my brain works. Trust me, you don't want to be in my brain. So I got to work. So this is what we have for the tutorial. My idea here was to make it so the tutorial level is like a parkour level so the player can get used to the controls. For the f**k's sake, this clip just corrupted. Now look at that first person controller. That looks so smooth and I don't even need a source code for this shit. I can make it map. Okay, okay. Before I hit the download button, I realized copying other people's code is for pussies. So I took the movement code from Platform Blood, which, if you didn't know, is the little game I'm working on so you know, make sure you go Check that out whenever it's done, you know what I'm saying? But now this floating ball needs to be able to jump because it's a platformer. And now just like a monkey, blood can jump. But it's gonna keep jumping, so what the f Just letting y'all know, this is around midnight, I think. This is when I usually go fucking crazy, so... I'm just saying, just saying. And then I started downloading Cinemachine. Cinemachine is the thingy that I use for making smooth camera because... Watch this, watch this. Cinemachine. Ha. 2D camera. Good player. Follow player, cause I'm a player. Go off this, we get some smooth movement. I didn't even do any code, can you believe that? Ahaha, <laughs> imagine all them motherfuckers doing all this code, like hell nah. I am the code. What am I on? I'm on top of the world. There's like no more clips after midnight, but I'm just gonna leave this in cause why not. Anyway, on to the next day. So looking back at the idea of cooking the player, I was trying to figure out how I can do this with triggers. It was up until this point that I realized that the player actually has this just built in. So hear me out, hear me out. When the player checks for the ground layer, it makes sure it can jump. I'm just saying, since it's only doing that, we can make it easily remove the health when it sees the ground. Like we can make it remove health from the player by point two or anywhere around that. And surprisingly, my genius ass figured it out, and it works. I'm kinda happy now this is working. So basically if you don't touch the, the bar, then like you don't overheat, but when you touch the bar you overheat. I'm just gonna say this is cooking like quite a bit too much, like I've left the gas still on 5 or something. 
<laughs> see what I did there. I changed up the level a bit as well and, you know, it's now looking pretty good. We have our first level done and we'll polish it all later. Anyway, I want to add a boss fight because why not? So let's just say we made a great choice in the boss. Way. So, uh, this is Polymars guys, he's one of the hosts for the game jam. And to pay him tribute to hosting it, I decided to include him into the game. I also thought if I made him a boss, it gives me an excuse to do some voice acting. Which I did. You've learned the basics. I'm surprised you've made it this far. But as they all say... I say let it die! That was crazy. What do you mean he's the guy from the Lorax? He's clearly the same person, bro. Now, I kind of spent a lot of time on that boss battle. And I also kind of rushed it, so... Personally, level 2 and level 3 are kind of, like, quick. About this time into the game jam, I thought it'd be a good idea to choose a name. Alright, let's look for a name. Let's look for a name for the game. Is Hot Potato a popular name? God damn it, Barji. My next idea for a name was called Overcooked Potato. But when I was putting this shit into Twitter, I thought, Wait a minute, Blood Tail sounds better, in my opinion. Then I got to the last day, and, uh, I wasn't finished. It was the last day of the game jam, and I spent the whole day locking in to make some changes, like the gravity R platform for level 2, the gun for the boss fight, collisions for the boss fight, animations, and then that's all I could manage. So I sent it off the way it was, with 2 hours left to spare on the game. Brother, this game is actually pretty shit. This is worse than Bang. This game is just, I ain't making out the hood with this shit, man. I'm not even going to get any people playing it. What the fuck? Wait a minute. A notification on itch.io? I've never gotten any of these before. What the blood? These people kind of dig my game. What the hell? So these people are kind of like proud of my game, which... I mean, that's pretty cool, I can't lie. I'm kind of proud of it because I worked three days on it, but I know I could have really done better on it, so... Yeah. I would say... The game jam experience was really f***ing fun. It tests you a decent amount, I also got a few people playing my game too, which I'm pretty happy about. But my next project is going to be a lot better, I can give you that. If you want to know what's up with Platform Blood, check out the Yapatronio video that's just released. It's just me saying, uh, Platform Blood's been halted for a bit. Oh, fuck, I just spoiled that main bit of the video. Oh well, there's other cool stuff too, so don't stress too much about it. Thank you Bloods for watching, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you Bloods later. As they say, Blood Man has gone away. I'm hiding till my next project is done.